Hello and welcome again, or welcome back to the tournament of airships. Today we have Mielski against Tatormi, or Tatormi, I don't know how to pronounce French, I'm sorry. Um, and let's take a look at these ships. Uh, Mielski's ships have changed color, he's on the left side. But we know the ship, it's the Raman ship with the Gatling guns from the first battle of uh, Mielski versus Dacornel. Our well-known saw shield saw ship is back, our good fencer. We have uh, two of the known flag, flag walkers again, and a little bit of a different flag walker this time. It has the same uh, basic build-up as the other ones, but this one actually has a grenadier bay. Or it's a marine bay, <laughs> I'm not quite sure actually. Um, it's going to be boarding though, I think. We have our well-known big ship again which is this, the big supporter, the big multi-robot one, and the old classic bomber, a carrier better set. On the right side, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27! Of a small musket ship with a ballista. These musket ships consist of four muskets and a single ballista with a, a big balloon cap and a, and a normal sail, a big ammo bay, a little, a little cockpit, a normal quarters, and a fire extinguisher. Uh, I know what happened. Uh, I just say I won't like that. I don't like the ship at all. We have behind that uh, a very interesting anti-air flyer or airship. It has five flag guns, which are actually pretty prone to exploding each other. I must say that's not very smartly placed. It has a decent lift though. It is very heavily armored with heavy steel armor, so it's very resilient. It also has a dorsal turret, which is prone to getting destroyed, inability to be uh, reinforced properly. It also has a ram in the front, so it can actually pierce through buildings or low-flying airships or land ships, etc. And through great sh grape shot cannons, facing to the back. Interesting ship design, I'm a, I must say. It's uh, it's refreshing to see. And behind that we have a, an entire tank, I think. Two flag guns, one dorsal. Pretty simple build-up. Pretty nice, I like it. And do we have anything else? We don't have anything else. So let's have a look at this, how it turns out, and we are starting 3, 2, 1, now. And immediately we can see that the fencer is trying to make a breakthrough attack, just like the uh, ram ship. The torpedo one must have completely helpless here. In fact, the, 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 the musket ships formed their own wall. This is almost like a Soviet charge here. <laughs> Which is ironic because Miowski actually has the rather red army oriented ship ish design. You can see that in the end on the ship names. The saw ship has been disarmed, the ram ship has been uh, immobilized. And honestly, not that many of the musket ships actually have died. It is pretty depressing to see this actually. Because muskets are actually supposed to be one of the worst weapons in the game, if not the worst weapon. The far away big support ship and the Carrier can survive for a bit longer though, but that's only really because they are far away and have decent armor. Well, technically seeing this steel armor, yeah. 
it is pretty decent. It has a lot of health and uh, it's actually pretty good against this musket fire. It's not optimal, of course, but um, it still stands a lot. But not constant shooting. Tachomi is now seemingly uh, inserting uh, ramming techniques. Or kamikaze, better said. Which he can afford, he has a lot of these ships left. He lost almost none of them. Maybe a handful, maybe half a dozen. How many did he have? 27? Or something, or something around the number. I'm really not good with memory, I'm sorry. Let's just speed up in 3, 2, 1, now. Because I don't really think anything is going to happen here anymore. The carrier has been completely disarmed. And is now exploding. How depressing. So, uh, we can see that, the, that at least my screen is not even big enough to show all the ships of Tatoomi. It literally only shows the musket ships, so it can't really react to anything there. We can see that really not a lot of them died. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this though. And uh, let's stay tuned for the next one. Maybe it's going to be a bit less heavy on these ones. And yeah, adios. And welcome again to the Airships Tournament. We have Miyoski against Tatomi again. Yeah, let's go on the left side, Tatomi on the right side, just as everything should be. Um, we have another one of, uh, well, let's, let's just take a look on the ships. We have uh, Miyoski's Rama again. Then we have something new from Miyoski. It looks like it's a two musket ship with uh, a grenadier bay. It seems to be pretty minimalistic. Quite nice, quite nice, though uh, it seems to have little firepower. Mm. Then we have on the bottom a little land, land walker from Miyoski. It has expensive spider legs and a lot of rams. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to say about the rams. It has flamethrowers though, so it's uh, to be used against buildings, I guess. It also has some flat guns though, so they might help. It has decent armor, it's heavy steel, very strong. Should be very good against them, you know, the muskets of Tatomi. And then we have uh, Miyowski's carrier again. And this time we also have a smaller carrier with only two torpedo bombers and no biplane at all. Basically a downscaled version of the big one. However, if we look at Tatomi's side, uh, yeah, we have a, a bunch of these little musket ships again. And this time we have a grape shot fighter, though, I guess, with some bombing base. Uh, Decent lift, I would say. Only a single engine, though, so that engine might get sniped pretty easily. We'll see, we'll see. Not that well armored, though. Only steel wall. And to the far back of it, we have uh, a heavily... Well, it's not, it's not heavily armored at all, actually. It's very weakly armored. A big land, land, land slug from Tatomi, which has a strange build of it. It's got two grand keels. And a large keel. Keels increase the health of modules. And this land strider has a heavy cannon and a torpedo. Uh, I think that's a waste of money, actually. <laughs> but uh, considering it, that we saw how well the little musket ships performed last game, I think we, he just wants to show off his other ships here. Or his more, more, more bigger ships, more impressive ships. However, let's have a look at this in three... Two, one, now. Miyoski instantly trying to stop the advance of Tatomi with his little musket ships, whilst the uh, ramming ship is trying to push the other ones away. A 
It doesn't seem to work though. Mielski's ramming ship is go is going straight into the Landstrider. Taking it apart. That's fair enough. It's got a lot of rams, so it's very dangerous. As well as the flame for us being good against steel walls still. Mielski trying to ram the musket ships from the bottom. The carriers have been pretty much taken care of at this point. One of them has been completely destroyed. The shotgun ship is still going, but it lost the cannon. Mielski's little landstrider seems to try and turn around, I think, to use the flamethrowers on the musket ships. But it seems to have gotten stuck. Tatomi's shotgun flyer has been disarmed. I think he's going to try an Ike Kamikaze attack now. Yep, and he, there he goes. The engine ironically survived, even though it's one of the weakest parts in the game, I guess. Or I think, at least. Miowski's ramship has been completely disabled. So the land, the land strider is now a kind of... A... Oh no, it can go back up again. So the land strider can, in fact try and take out these few uh, musket ships with its mighty flamethrowers because the flamethrowers are still pretty good against those as well as the rums and it can even keep going What's for certain is that this one is get, get, being uh, getting far closer to victory for Mielski than the other one. Maybe he can pull it off. Because this Landstrider is MVP right now. But I think it's been disarmed. Yeah, the ammo bay is gone. It can only ram anymore. Uh, that's unfortunate. And since his ram ship is uh, immobilized, it's got no propulsion anymore, it cannot move forward. You can only hope to shoot down the uh, musket ships with the Scatling guns. And Scatling guns are not that good against wood armor, but it's still good enough to deal some damage. At least over time. Hmm, Tatomi might just run out of ammunition if Mielski's ram ship keeps uh, dodging like this. <laughs> but it's certainly getting chipped away at. The entire bottom section of it is uh, riddled with holes. So he might just run out of coal as well. Yeah, the coal bay is getting shot. So um, he's going to get crashed, force landed. However, all the coal has been used up anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really make a difference right here. A valiant stand, I must say. I must say though, even though this uh, this ramming ship is uh, still doing God's work, the ramming the ramming guy was the real MVP. 
That was just amazing. Just going straight through that land strata and then even destroying a bunch of those uh, musket ships. Real well done. Real good ship. I liked it. Oh, Mielski's uh, flyer is still going. But how? There is no coal left. Oh, there was little coal bays that haven't been used up, but now it's offline. <laughs> Landing right on the top of the, of the ships that, had, that just has tried, tried to destroy. Alright, let's speed up in 3, 2, 1, now. And we can see that this time it went far closer for Miyowski, but unfortunately still a defeat. <laughs> a lot of the little musket ships have been destroyed though. So uh, maybe he can pull it off next game. If there is one. I'm not quite sure. We'll see though. For now, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you next time. And goodbye. And welcome back to the next game of Chateau of, of Miyowski vs. Tatomi. Miyowski is on the left side again. Tatomi on the right side. Balance as all things should be. Uh, we have... Um, let's take a look at the ships. It's Miyowski's ram ship again. We already know this. It seems to be one of his favorites. We also have a saw ship again, which also seems to, seems to be one of its favorites. Both of these ships actually perform pretty well in battle. We have four of the little uh, flag workers again. We've seen them before, so no need to go into detail on that. We have oh, something interesting and new. We have... Oh, it's, it's a torpedo ship. Mm. Torpedo ships are a two-sided blade. <clears throat> on the one hand, they can do a, a big lot of damage when they hit. On the other hand, they are very slow, so uh, they are often not very useful outside of sieges from cities or buildings. It also has a Gatling gun, though, so maybe that's going to be helpful. It only has this, well, it has an engine and a propeller, so uh, it's okay. Then we have another one of those, <laughs> and then we have the small carrier again. Interesting. Um, on the right side, on the Tommy side, we have a a new ship, it looks like it's a combination of shotgun or grape shot cannon, and two Gatling guns and a flamethrower, <coughs> pardon me, with some decent lift and some good proportion here, not that well not that well armored though, it also has a sponsor by the way, a normal one I think, <laughs> and then yeah, we have a bunch of those things again, and then we have a bunch of walkers. Which these walkers have two muskets or two rifles and a rocket each. Four of those. F five actually. Hmm. And then we have something else in the f in the back row. It's a walker with a single cannon. Oh, that's uh, interesting too. Maybe maybe that can help something. Or well, just tank shots. We'll see. Uh, let's get the starting. In three, two, one. Now. Mielski's saw ship instantly taking care of the melee combo ship. The ram ship trying to attack the uh, upper row of the musket ships. Saw ship being valiant, trying to take out the walkers. The torpedo ship is actually hitting the musket ships because they are not moving around much. The saw ship has been officially uh, immobilized, even cut in half. We don't need more than flex tape to fix this though. The ram ship has been exploded. It's not much help anymore. It can still move though. <laughs> but the ram just the ram just fell off. The little flag walkers are trying their best to shoot down the musket ships, but they are just too many. 
or at least they're getting shot away from the cannon ships from the in the back row from me else uh, to Tommy. Torpedo ships are still trying their best, but they, as I said, they are not very useful and against moving targets. In fact, I would say they are useless against moving targets because their projectors are just way too slow. They've got some decent armor though. They, they'll be able to withstand the musket fire for at least a short while. One of Miyowski's torpedo ships seems to try and flank around and try to attack this uh, either the big blob of uh, musket ships or the cannon walkers. It seems it went for the cannon walkers, which didn't work out because they moved first. And one of the cannon walkers is crouching for some reason. And now we'll. Uh, well, the, the torpedo ship doesn't really seem to do that much of work right here. It seems to just be outgunned, though it uh, managed to shoot a, a torpedo at the cannon workers. But well, this is basically done and dusted, and let's speed up in 3, 2, 1, and now. We're just right in time for the torpedo ship on the right to get shot down. The last torpedo ship is bobbing up and down. A good tactic to avoid enemy fire. And these ships for muskets, they are very accurate actually. You can see all the, the traces of musket fire being very close to each other actually. And that's it, I think that Mielski just gave up. It's getting shot down and that's it. <laughs> pretty close I would say. I don't really see any more musket ships in the air. Well there's actually one left but uh, that's another loss from Yelsky unfortunately. Hmm. Well that's it I guess for this one. I'll see you in the next one and uh, thank you for watching and see you then. And welcome back to the next game. We again have Miyowski against Satomi. Miyowski on the left, Satomi on the right, as all things should be. Let's have a look at the ships. We have Miyowski's Rama again. We have Miyowski's Saw ship again. We have two of the little walkers with the flag guns and the little flag walker with the uh, marines again. Or, or, or grenadiers, somewhere, I don't know actually. We also have the big, the big ship again, the multi raw fighter or something. And we also have uh, the, the big carrier again, with the biplane. On the Tommy side we have actually, or rather finally, no infinite musket ship. We have something that uh, is actually quite interesting. It, uh, it is not a rammer, but it has no weapon either. I suppose it's gonna use the, the, um, the figure as a rammer. Almost looks like a lancer, like the like when they charge the knights charge jousting. <laughs> um. Anyway, behind that, on the on the rather left side of the of the new ships, we have a flyer with a ram, uh, and a normal cannon, two gatling guns, and a shotgun cannon. 
or grape shot. Uh, well, it seems to be a common design here for for Tatomi. After that, we have two of the same ships. They also have a ram, but they have one shotgun or grape shot and two normal cannons. They also have two sponsons and a cannon facing backwards. Oh, I, I forgot to mention the other one uh, in front of them also has a big sponson. Uh, we have Tatomi's uh, flak and dorsal carrier or some anti-air thing again. Mm, then we have a new thing. It almost looks like, like the little jouster in front, but if this one doesn't have a lance, it has a deck gun. Mm, so the, maybe anti-air, maybe anti-aircraft. And we have little cannon walkers again. So let's have a look at this in 3, 2, 1, now. Yep, the Jousters instantly go in and most of them even miss their targets, the rest gets destroyed. Looked quite funny though, must say that. <laughs> mm, the Tommy's ships have quite good armor on them. Uh, just like Mielski's ships, so Mielski's flag, uh, flag walkers are not going to be of much use right here. However, the ramming ship is going to be more successful, I think. The source ship already died, unfortunately. Mielski tried to ram downwards and then tried to scoop up the remnants of one ship. Not really doing any damage in either of that. <laughs> All of Miowski's uh, flag walkers have been disarmed. Some of the Jousters are still alive. And Miowski's big ship is still alive as well, and it's still kicking, kicking butt quite hard. However, the uh, flagship of uh, Tatomi is giving it quite a bad time. Miowski tried to ram downwards on the cannon walkers, not having success and up blowing himself up. Mielski's torpedo planes are trying to take out a, a ship that's flying right over their base. Smart move. Just gotta be careful that they don't shoot themselves. At least they used to do that quite a lot. And I think the multi-role fighter from Mielski is actually uh, not able to fly any higher than this anymore. So even the flag, uh, Tatomi's flagship can uh, just fly over it. Good torpedo hit on the flagship. The flagship now trying to run the uh, remnant of the big ship from Mielski. <laughs> Seems like uh, Sir Tommy's flagship got stuck in that. And I think this is a pretty uh, stagnant battle now, so let's speed up in 3, 2, 1, now. I'll just see how the rest goes.
the last remnant of uh, Tatomi's ships is just uh, has just catched fire and tried to run the carrier. No success there. And there we go, Nielski has won. So we can see that uh, even with far superior numbers, though I suppose that the Jousters were just a joke ship, Mielski has quite a big advantage actually. His ships seem to be more, uh, more well made against uh, qu in quality battles, at least what I take of this. So I, I still think that he actually lost this because uh, he lost three battles in a row and this was just uh, a, an additional match. I'm not sure though. It should be like that at, at least, so uh, but we'll move on to the next battle quite soon. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. Goodbye.